Yo, this is Zomboy and you're here with EDM.com. Where will dance music be in five years? It's so hard to tell. It's like, I couldn't even make a guess right now because the, the, the rapid change in the scene already is, over the past like two years, it's gone from like being nothing to the, the biggest thing in the world right now. And it's and so much has changed along the way as well. So five years time, it's, it's, it's hard to comprehend. I think, I think that's probably about the time where things will go full circle. So like, for example, now dubstep seems to be kind of fading out a little bit. Maybe five years time, it's gonna have its big comeback again, who knows, or something like that. That's, if I was gonna put my money on it, it'd be that. So many, um, ranging from all sorts of kinds of music as well. I'd say biggest was probably back in the day um, when I was into my metal bands and hardcore bands. So like people like Stick to Your Guns, For the Fallen Dreams, um, like kind of like metalcore, like As I Lay Dying, and like bands like that that really got me into music in the first place. Um, and then also like more recently like a lot more chilled out stuff because obviously my job entails listening to hard like hardcore music every night. So like when I finish a set I like to listen to like chilled out acoustic. It's like Ben Howard, um, Mumford and Sons, uh, yeah, tons, just tons of like really chilled out acoustic music really. <sighs> One person in particular? Hmm. If I was going to collab with one person, I'd want to do it with something crazy. It's not necessarily going to happen because he's dead, but Michael Jackson? <laughs> That'd be amazing. Um, someone more realistic. Or just living. Oh, living. Yeah, yeah, or living. Um, oh, Chromio. Chromio for sure. I think there's a huge gap in like heavy music and like chromio vocals and like cheesy synth lines. <laughs> I need to think about that. I've had a lot of advice over the years. Is there any that kind of just sticks out to you? <laughs> I didn't really get much advice, I guess, along this way. I kind of did it all for myself. But, um,. Or is there any advice that you would give someone? Advice I'd give someone? Don't be put off of trying to be too unique. There's, there's, everyone like emphasizes like how you have to be so unique to do, like be different, do something different. Not necessarily the case. I think go with what you want to do and what you, yeah, what, you, what your passion is and then break the boundaries after you've kind of got a name for yourself. I think that's the only advice I could give. And not many people would give that, they'd always go, like I was saying, the generic, no, you gotta do something different. Um, it's actually quite interesting at the moment, because Never Say Die has just partnered off, they've created a new sister label called No Tomorrow. Because um, that basically, in the essence is, they're trying to keep Never Say Die for more, like the real like dubstep, and like the heavier kind of, like that, that area of the music. And they've created No Tomorrow um, so that we can basically release a lot different music on it. So like, for example, my last single, Here To Stay, which was like a 110 BPM track. We put that out as the first release on No Tomorrow just to like showcase, like it's gonna be a new label, new, st new style of music. Um, and yeah, so like, for example, my next EP, which is coming out, is gonna be a split release. We're gonna have half of it going out on Never Say Die, and then half of it going out on No Tomorrow, because it's like I'm keep I'm I'm still writing to please the kind of the Zomboy hardcore Zomboy fans. So we've got a couple of tracks that'll keep them happy, but you're also gonna see a lot more of my new stuff in there. So my new my new direction. Yeah, at the moment, I'm writing a lot of electro house, um, but it's not like your kind of traditional electro house, very plain. It's all like it's very the kind of Zomboy sound design, but 128 BPM. 
So it's just like a lot. It's just it's more it's more fun to play out. It's more fun to make. It's good party music. I mean, there's only so much dubstep you can write, but before people get bored of it as well. So I'm still keeping the essence of Zomboy, but just taking it in different directions. Yeah, I mean, the alias came like right as I was actually finishing my first EP, because I was just um, producing under my name Joshua Melody at that point, um, and the, the label, the, the newly signed label, which was Never Say Die, they were like, look, you're not like a progressive house artist, you can't just like produce under your name really, um, you need to like come up with an alias. So I was like looking at my music, thinking, okay, it's kind of weird, it's kind of heavy, it's kind of dark. And I was trying to think on it for days and days and days and just couldn't come out with anything. So I took a break and started playing the Xbox. And then I started playing a game called Left 4 Dead, which is a really sick like zombie shoot 'em up. And I was like, zombies are cool. And I reckon I could do something with that. Like, so I spun it for a while and I was just like, eh, zomboy. And then, yeah, I guess that. I kind of only came up with the alias probably a couple of weeks before my first EP came out, which is pretty risky considering it was basically like a new look straight away, but it worked. Well, my new EP, um, which is yet to be titled, is going to be coming out around August again this year. Um, and that's going to, I think we're just going to do four tracks this time. There's a lot of bass in here. <laughs> Excisions upstairs. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. No, they're gonna. It's gonna be yeah around August time, I think. Yeah. Can't wait to hear it. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited for everyone to hear it too. Tupac. Producing. Astronaut. I actually did, and that's not just lying. Ooh, brunettes, I'm gonna say. Good answer. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of tits. <laughs> tits everywhere. People stage diving and falling on their face. Everything. Yeah. I seen someone like vomit on someone else as well, which is kind of gross. It grossed me out because I'm not good with vomit. Yeah. And I saw someone like turning it rah, over someone's like face person, and shoulder. Like, I don't know. I didn't look. I, I had to turn away. I was like, I'm gonna be sick. <laughs> An owl. <laughs> I don't know why. Oh.